What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis once again answering the question that you asked me. Make sure you check out the ChazEllisProject.com. Get a consultation, a quick question, or just make a donation to help us out. Also, make sure you check out the live stream that's going to be going on tonight. That's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I'm going to be telling you when it's time to let go, how to know when it's time to let go. Um, also, be telling you, you know, when it's time to go ahead and work a little harder and try to make things happen. Um, make sure you check that out. That's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. Um, and that's Sunday, May 17th. So if you're watching this after Sunday, May 17th, yo ass done missed it. Anyway, um, also make sure you go to Ask Chaz Us on Facebook. Check me out on there. I got all kinds of posts up, different things I put up. Um, check that out too. Anyway, the question that I got was based on a video that I did um, for women. Uh, it was called um, Three Reasons Why Men Disrespect Women, something like that. Um, and some people were wondering, well, what are some of the reasons why women uh, disrespect men? Well, some of y'all get mad because it's basically along the same lines. Nine times out of ten, when people are disrespecting you, it's because they feel like they can based on some stuff you're doing. Um, and just like I said for women, the same thing for men. Um, the number one number one reason why women uh, disrespect men is because men often co-sign disrespect. A lot of times a guy will say, it's cool for a girl to disrespect another guy and then expect her not to disrespect him. A lot of times we laugh when we see other men be disrespected by women. We um, are we even try to tell women that's okay because we want to be like, oh, I'm not like him or I'm not like those other guys. It's cool for you to disrespect this dude. As a matter of fact, I remember a friend of mine, uh, he was dating this girl and she actually had a kid by another guy. And uh, anyway, somewhere along the line, she tells him that uh, she had to slap that other dude. She was like, yeah, I had to slap him because he was doing whatever. I don't remember exactly what he was doing. Um, he wasn't touching her. I, I do know that. So she was like, I had to slap that dude. And my friend was like, yeah, man, well, you know, sometimes, you know, you got to get real with these suckers and all this kind of stuff. He, you know, he shouldn't be doing this. He shouldn't be doing that. He was kind of taking her side. Anyway, about a month or two later, this fool calls me up talking about just pissed off. You know, you could tell when somebody's like on the phone pacing and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, this fool calls me up talking about, I can't believe this B slapped me and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, really? You, you can't believe it? You can't, after you didn't talk about that whole conversation you had, telling her how it was cool to slap that other guy, you surprised that you got slapped? Get out. You know what I mean? He's one of the people like, you just want to get off my phone, loser. Because ultimately, you co-sign that type of behavior and then you're surprised when it happens to you. A lot of guys co-sign women disrespecting other guys because for some reason we may think that guy is lesser than we are. But the reality of the situation is, how do you know that she sees the difference between you and him? So when you co-sign it, you're basically saying it's cool to do it to you. Uh, number two reason why women disrespect men is uh, they see men disrespect each other. We consistently go about the process of talking trash about each other, calling somebody else little boys and uh, all kinds of crap, you know, and, and we go, we do all of this stuff. So basically we tell women it's cool to disrespect us. You disrespect other men, what do you expect? Of course they're going to disrespect you. It shouldn't be such a shock. It should be pretty obvious. If you go around telling other, if you go around calling dudes little boys, if you go around um, saying, you know, oh, he ain't a real man, a real man would do this, trying to stick your chest out and make yourself look better, don't be surprised when your girl's first go-to move is to say you're not a real man or you're a little boy or try to treat you like a child because you're doing it to other men. You're basically saying to be a man, you got to get approval from somebody else. Don't be surprised when she feels like you got to get approval from her to be a real man. It shouldn't be such a shocker. You know, so a lot of times disrespecting each other tells everyone it's okay to disrespect you. Um, and the number three, last one, last reason why women disrespect men. Uh, and I mean, there's other ones, but these are like kind of the top ones that I've seen. Um, a lot of men disrespect good women and respect the bad ones. A lot of women know what I'm talking about here. I see this all the time. It's like a guy get a good woman, and, and a lot of you guys have probably seen this too with a friend of yours or something like that. You know, a guy get a good woman, and he just dog that girl out. Just, I mean, just dog her one way and back, you know, every single day. Treat that girl like she's trash. Talk trash to her. Maybe even hit her. Uh, 
you know, just all kind of just do her dirty every single second. You get a guy, he's, he may have a baby mama or something like that. That's cool as heck. Go out of her way for him, you know, try to do everything right. And he'll sit there and just dog that girl. But let him have a baby mama and talk trash about him all the time to the kids. Let him have a baby mama who, who, who has no respect for him. He'd go out of his way to try to pacify that girl. I remember one time I was selling cell phones. And uh, this guy comes in and he was like buying an extra phone. And he said, yeah, um, and, you know, we had just been talking. And he was like, yeah, actually, I'm getting this phone from my baby mama. And he was, I was like, oh, okay. And he had told me about his baby mama that was real cool. He said, man, she cool as heck. You know, she didn't drove all the way here to bring the kid to me before. She done done this. She done done that. She don't never had no problems. I don't never had no problems out of her. I was like, oh, okay. So I said, oh, you buying the phone for her? That your baby mama just real cool? That's 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 a good idea, man. She's cool. He's like, nah, man. I got to buy this one for my baby mama that's not cool. Because I guess he had two baby mamas. I was like, oh. What do you mean she's not cool? He said, man, she be going off on me. She be cussing me out. She be taking me to court like five or six times. Yada, yada, yada. I was like, why are you buying this girl a phone? Seems ass backwards to me. Why are you buying? You're basically rewarding this person's bad behavior and hoping that they're going to stop. Because the reality of the situation is if this person is going in on you on a regular basis and this other girl is cool, that's the one who should be getting a phone. That's the one whose car payment you should be paying. That's the way you should be helping out in any kind of way you need it. And the other one, you should say, you know what? I'm going to do what the court tells me to do. But other than that, I'm not going to piss on you if you're on fire. Because the reality of the situation is you're not here to help me. You're not on my team. Helping my enemy is hurting myself. So I'm going to help this girl out that's cool and that's acting right. And I'm not going to worry about you. I'm going to do whatever she needs me to do. I'm not going to use my resources that could be going to her on somebody who's not cool. And a lot of guys do that. It's like when you got a girl that's not cool in any way, whether it's baby mama or whatever it might be, you got a girl that's not cool. A lot of times we'll go out of our way for them, but then dog the girl that's actually cool and actually treating us right. So I think that's one of the big reasons why we get disrespected is because we basically teach girls that being disrespectful towards us is a good way to get what you want from us. Oh, I'm not going to take no trash. And, it's, and when we sit there and we disrespect the girl that's treating us right, all of her friends... Um, if we have children by her, whatever our case, the case may be, all of those people see that and they say, well, why would I be like her? Why would I be down for a dude when the reality of the situation is all they're going to do is disrespect me? So I think that's the biggest reason why we get that. And, you know, all of these reasons are why we get so much disrespect from women. These are things that men can change themselves. So hopefully I was able to help you out. You put some reasons down at the bottom yourself also and check that and, uh, so other people can look at them. Um, once again, Shaman Chazos. Make sure you check me out on the ChazosProject.com. Um, get that consultation, quick question, or just make a donation to help us out. Also, check the live stream out. That's going to be tonight, May 17th, um, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check that out. Peace.